Hey guys, Dave Sells, the bearded bee man with BA Springs. Thank you again to Jay Williams for having us on beekeeping from the basement. Today we're talking about swarm traps. So I want to show you guys the one that we offer here in stock. This is the Swarm Trooper. It's made out of a corrugated plastic box. Uh, it's very lightweight, weighs just under five pounds, easy to get up into the air, easy to get down, very versatile to work with. Let me show you some of the details about it. All right, so like I said, this is made out of a corrugated plastic, so it is weather resistant. It's got the two straps that hold it together here. You can use these to even strap it into a tree, put it from a limb or however you'd like to hang it. I like this box a lot because it's kind of versatile in that way. Once you remove the strap, you take out the, the cover here. You can see that the inside has a cardboard interior. This cardboard interior actually has frame rests inside of it, so it holds five frames. You can put mediums or deeps in here. Some of the other things I like about it a lot is this little entry right here. So once you get your bees in here and you know that you're going to be able to seal them up inside of there, to close this off, all you got to do is just push this little door closed and it actually stays closed. Once you get the bees in there, it has two doors that are screened up here on the top. You'll be able to provide some ventilation for the bees if you need to keep them in here for a day or two. And that will give them the ventilation that they're going to need so they don't overheat inside of here. The interior of this is encased inside the plastic, so it does hold up pretty well. I had some of these out last year the entire season and the interior stayed up fine. If the interior ever does get wet, start to degrade in any way, you can replace just the interior of this. So it makes it pretty versatile. You have to keep a swarm of bees in here for a longer amount of time. There's actually a cutout already here in the top. You can remove this cutout and put a piece of screen over it and then you can put a jar feeder right on top of here. Gives you a great way of being able to feed these. You can find them on our website at basprings.com. So once you capture that swarm and you've got it home, you've got to have something to put it in. Now a lot of swarms are fairly small, all the way down to one pound, much less than a package that you would sometimes get. So I always recommend having a five frame nuke sitting around in your bee shed just so you have it ready to go. This five frame nuke is going to work perfectly for being able to load them into it. We do have feeders that can go on top of it so you can get that colony started in a nice five frame in a small amount of space and then grow them into an eight or ten later on. Again, thank you very much to Jay for having us on beekeeping from the basement and we'll see you guys soon.